It's been 80 years since the city of Benares tragedy. It's considered one of the worst tragedies in the Second World War involving children. The steamship, with 407 people on board, including 90 government evacuees, left Liverpool for Canada until it was spotted in the Atlantic by the Germans. Spotted this, this uh, convoy as a rather juicy target, uh, uh, with the Benares in particular, and bided his time until 10 o'clock. And then he fired five torpedoes. I could go on all night about the panic of the children getting off. It was a pretty rough night, a force eight gale. There were 12 lifeboats. Nearly everyone was waterlogged on launching and um, there was complete panic. As the ship went down, Blake's father was 301 miles away on HMS Hurricane when he received a call for help and he arrived 14 hours later. Uh, uh, father and his navigator, somebody called Pat Fletcher, uh, had already concocted what they call a box in which they were going to search. Slowly they came across the most horrific sights. But they were all given a magnificent sunset burial by my father. And he wrote personally to the parent of all three children saying, I hope you didn't mind, but I thought they deserved a really decent burial. And it left everybody pretty well affected, make no mistake. It does me to, th to, to think of it. I thought I was rich one day and I bought a boat and I decided that I would call it Hurricane 2. I didn't know that much about my father then, but about six weeks beforehand I got something in the Telegraph, the day, Sunday Express and the Evening Standard saying we were having a big launching party at Gosport. If you serve with my father or you were rescued by him, Come to the party, you're most welcome. Ten survivors initially turned up to the first reunion in 1973, but they continued over the next 15 years and more and more people started coming to them. And, and one thing, good thing that came out of this was that I'm able to account almost exactly where my father was for every day in the war and what he was doing. Uh, to the extent that I actually know his last words. This really is the last throw of the dice, as it were, because there'll be nobody around other than the story.